Hello learners. Let us show that G circle F inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse if it is given that F maps A to B and G maps B to C are bijections. See one request: you don't have to you know mug up this theorem just literally. I'll explain in a step by step manner. So here attentively, so that you know you can do this on your own. Okay, you don't have to literally mug it up and go about it. Understand the flow and the logic. Okay, now let's start. See, we are we are given that f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijections, and what do we need to prove? We need to show that g circle f inverse. Okay, let me see the left hand side. Okay, we have g circle f inverse. So basically, I need to start with start out by finding g circle f. Okay, then I need to show that g circle f is a bijection, and then I need to show that its inverse also exists, and you know it goes. See, understand how the flow goes. Okay, so first I need to start out with g circle f. Okay. Since f maps a to b and g maps b to c are bijections, therefore g circle f maps a to c is also a bijection. This was actually the first theorem, the beginning theorem. Okay, so by that you can state that this is true. Now, since g circle f maps a to c is a bijection, g circle f whole inverse maps c to a is also a bijection. Remember, if f maps a to b is a bijection, then f inverse maps b to a is also a bijection. So similarly. G circle F inverse maps C to A. See, observe G circle F maps from A to C, and G circle F inverse maps from C to A. Just remember that, okay? Domain and codomain uh, get exchanged, okay? Okay. Now, now till now we have proved that you know G circle F inverse is there, and you know it maps from C to A. Now that's fine. Now we need to come to RHS. We need to find out F inverse circle G inverse. See, uh, remember, okay. So since f maps a to b is a bijection, f inverse maps b to a is also bijection. Similarly, since g maps b to c is a bijection, g inverse maps c to b is also a bijection. Now, we, what do we need to find out? We need to find out f inverse circle g inverse. Now, listen carefully. In f inverse circle g inverse, first you need to put down g inverse. Okay. First, you need to put down the data of g inverse, then the data of f inverse, then you would get f inverse circle g inverse. you know uh, it's like see observe here you have f maps a to b and g maps b to c so you got g circle f but how did i start with i started with f okay in g circle f we need to start with f here from f since f maps a to b and g maps b to c g circle f goes from a to c see observe here a maps to b and here b maps to c so ultimately a is mapping to c that's how i got so in g circle f f comes first okay not g don't go by the you know uh, order in which we are writing understand the deeper meaning present so similarly for f inverse circle g inverse since g inverse maps c to b okay we know that you know g inverse maps c to b and f inverse maps from b to a these two are bijections therefore f inverse circle g inverse i told you right we need to start from g inverse what what, what does g inverse map from it maps from c to b and what does f inverse map from it maps from b to a therefore g f inverse circle g inverse maps from c to a okay because you know c goes to b and b goes to a so ultimately we are, c is mapping to a fine now till here you observe g circle f inverse maps c maps from c to a and f inverse circle g inverse maps from c to a you observe these two are defined on the same domain c okay g circle f whole inverse and f inverse circle g inverse are defined on the same domain c okay yeah uh, just uh, one thing you guys can write down you know how i am presenting it here in the exam as it is and you would get full marks okay no need to worry about that just understand it and write down in the same flow you would get full marks because you know i'm presenting from the textbook as it is i'm just presenting the logic in a, a clear way that's it now okay now till now we proved that you know these two functions have the same domain okay g circle f inverse and f inverse circle g inverse now we also need to show that you know these two functions have the same mapping that means for every element of g circle f inverse you know it will map to some element okay uh, because it's a function it will map from one element to another element now i need to prove that both of them you know both the functions map to the same element for a given element okay you may not understand it but still you know try to listen to the video again and again fine Uh, so for that you know how i'm going to start is i'm going to consider a element c and i'm going to take uh, c belongs to c and now since f map since g sorry since g maps b to c is a surjection okay since g is a bijection it is also a surjection it's given since g maps b to c is a surjection there exists an element in the domain 
such that you know g of v is c there will there will definitely exist an element okay now since g of b is equal to c this basically means that g inverse of c is nothing but p you can you know try to remember it like you are sending g here so you get g inverse of c is equal to b although that's not how you know the uh, logic flows okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one as my equation one okay i'm going to take this one as my equation two because i'll be using them further now next Similarly, what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another element in B, and since f maps e to B is a surjection, remember since f is a bijection, it is also a surjection. There exists a belongs to a such that f of a is B. So since f of a is equal to B, f inverse of B is gonna be a. So these two statements I'm gonna map them as three and four. because we will be using them okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find out i'm going to start with this equation i'm going to start with first equation okay from the first equation now from first equation basically g of b is c so i can write c equal to g of b that's fine now what is my b okay now what is my b b is nothing but f of a b is nothing but f of a from equation 3 from equation 3 now c is nothing but g of f of a this basically means that c is g circle f of a because g of f of a is nothing but g circle f of a right so we got till here now since c uh, c is uh, g circle f of a we, i can also write it as you know g circle f of a is c now since g circle f of a is c now take this entire function to the other side i would get g circle f inverse of c is nothing but a i told you right you can remember it like this but that's not how you know things actually work out so basically what i proved till now is try to understand i took an element you know c which is there in the domain of g circle f inverse and i showed that it is mapping to an element a now i'm going to take the same element this same element c i'm going to check what does this f inverse circle g inverse is going to map to so i'm going to find out f inverse circle g inverse of c now f inverse circle g inverse of c i can write it as f inverse of g inverse of c okay that's how the basic definition goes now what is g inverse of c what is g inverse of c let's see here g inverse of c is nothing but b g inverse of c is p so i'd get this one as f inverse of b from equation 2 i showed you just now now what was what is f inverse of b it is a from equation Four, I get it. Okay. Now, if you'll observe, basically what I got here is uh, f inverse circle g inverse of c also maps to the same element. Now, basically, see, initially I showed that you know these two functions are defined on the same domain. Now I have also showed that you know these two functions for some uh, these two functions also map to the same element. They have the same domain, and for every element of that domain, they map to the same element. Okay, these two functions. i know you may not be able to understand it but you know go through this video again and again in case if you want clear cut understanding it's not that easy to understand it on the first time but still try okay so yeah now basically showed that they have the same domain and they are mapping they are also mapping to the same element this basically means that these two are same functions so g circle f whole inverse is nothing but f inverse circle g inverse that's it okay thank you so uh in case you like this solution you know please do give a thumbs up and this is if this is your first time uh, coming to my channel kindly do subscribe to it thank you